And welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. And giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Ali LaForce. And the Milwaukee starting five. As always, it's Middleton and Giannis at the forward spots. Lillard and Trent Jr. are the guards. And it's Lopez in at the center position. And for Philadelphia, Kelly Oubre out there with Paul George. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. Then there's Eric Gordon. And it's Embiid in at the center position. Some crafty veterans on both of these rosters, Clark. How do you see that impacting the game? Well, B.A., it's going to lead to some high-level basketball. You've got a roster full of high IQ players. They know what it takes to get Ws. I'm very much looking forward to this matchup because of that. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Middleton against Oubre. Can't get it to fall. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Shoots from the elbow. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Boy, Gordon, such a natural score. Wherever he is on the floor, he knows how to score the ball. This guy is some kind of offensive player. Down low. Here's Maxi. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on Brooke Lopez. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. Talking about Tyrese Maxey, Grant, here's a guy who's improved every year. Yeah, B.A., I mean, from averaging eight as a rookie to 26 points during his breakout fourth year, Maxey has added to his game every offseason and turned himself into an elite scorer. Now here's Maxey. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Recognized that space given, and Maxey pulled up in the mid-range for the bucket. Pass to Anadokounmpo. The three. The rebound by Maxi. The 76ers have gone two of three from the floor. Embiid with it. Middleton covering. Takes the three. Embiid can't hit. For Milwaukee, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. He buries it from three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. We know Gordon can shoot it. But there, he reminds us that he can flush it, too. The Bucs have gone one of four to begin this one. And Clark, this last summer, former Sixer Doug Collins inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Yeah, well-deserved honor for Doug. I mean, he's Philly's former number one overall pick back in 1973. And he played almost a decade there for the Sixers. Also coached the Sixers among many other teams that he had a chance to coach in the NBA. But clearly an NBA lifer and one of the best guys that's part of the NBA fraternity. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Giannis Antetokounmpo wants to take on the tough assignments defensively. He said, quote, I believe I'm one of the best two-way players to ever play this game, and I want to have that challenge, knowing that you gave everything to the game and you gave everything to stop the other team's best player. He certainly wants to dominate in every way, Ali. Thank you. Now here's Antetokounmpo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Boy, he is so he's dangerous from too. this area, guys. Even when Giannis is defended tightly, he powers through it. Knocks down the triple. Boy, I like how quickly he threw the bounce pass there. Hard to defend against that. And Giannis with the jam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. The shot's good. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Sixers ahead, up five. And we'll get things... And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And looking at what we've seen from Philadelphia, what do you guys think? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. Puts the defense right up against it. 
Martin slides in at the four with Embiid in the pivot. Then there's Kenyon Martin, then it's Kyle Lowry, and it's Council in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. After his rookie year, Clark, Chris Middleton got traded to Milwaukee. Well, there were no ripples when this trade happened, B.A. No earth shaking or anything like that, but it was major for the Bucks and Chris Middleton. He's been a multi-time All-Star, and he also was huge in that championship run in 21 for the Bucks. Here's Middleton. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Well, that's good work by Prince there, spotting the open man and then putting the ball on target on time right in the shooting box. Looking to end the run. And all around the rim that time before dropping. Martin's gotten his first bucket of the night. And here's Middleton. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Let's it fly. And there's Wright. That one's good. And the assist by Middleton. Boy, that is textbook fundamentals there. The mechanics very solid, serving right well on that shot. And some changes here for the 76ers. Paul George comes in for Martin, and it's Gordon in for Council. Gary Trent Jr., he's checked in for Milwaukee. Damian Lillard comes in for Wright. For three, George. Philadelphia with another miss. Here's Milwaukee. They've outscored them 10 to 2 during this run. And grant the combination of Giannis and Lillard, one of the most fearsome pick and roll tandems the league has ever seen. You're spot on, BA. Surround them with shooting. And you have the makings of an offensive juggernaut. Nice to see Gordon use his touchdown low. I mean, not the biggest guy, but still skilled at scoring close to the bucket. Portis for three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. 107 left in the first half. And here's Gordon from the arc. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Well, Gordon sends that one straight down and in from beyond the arc. Goes up on the baseline. It's hauled in by Portis. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. Prince, the pass to Lillard. Middleton, left side. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Gordon. Middleton is most known, quite honestly, for his scoring ability. He's a sniper from outside that you can't afford to lose contact with. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Clark, the Sixers have been at least 10 games over 500 for seven straight seasons now. Yeah, and that's great to see after what was it called? The process that took them all the way to the very depths of the league to finally build themselves back into a consistent playoff team. And their fans certainly deserve good times for struggling through all of those bad times several years ago. And you know, when Gordon gets going, the D better watch out. I mean, he heats up fast. Excellent at getting to his spots. It's rebounded by George. The Sixers lead by three. From downtown. Gordon can't hit. Portis outside. And a miss there on the triple. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Sixers on top, leading by three. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break. Ready for the second half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Without question, Eric Gordon displaying his skills today. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Taking a look at the Bucks. Inside, we have Giannis and Lopez. On the wing, it's Trent Jr. and Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the point. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. When you have an MVP talent in his prime, the focus has to be on winning the title. The Sixers' Joel Embiid said, quote, the only thing I care about is winning. 
that takes a lot and everybody has to contribute. I'm always going to believe in myself. I love the guys that we have. We are going to go and fight every single night. Great perspective there. Thanks, Allie. On and Akumpo for three. What a make! Giannis for three! And the elite bigs today can score posting and facing up Clark. Can all those options make it hard to decide which way to attack? Well, I agree with you there. And I think it's a good problem to have, quite honestly, B. I I mean, that's also, I think, where coaching and analytics comes into play. Trying to keep track of what approach is going to work best for you. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lopez. Philadelphia leading by three. It's George on the wing. The three is up. The rebound by the Bucks. Well, Grant, you often hear about how smooth Paul George's game is. Yeah, I'll tell you this. Young players can learn a lot by watching his footwork. His timing, his ability to find the space he needs, it's just tremendous. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. I like the intensity that George plays with down inside. It's really what earns him a lot of these calls. He hits the second from the line. 146 left in the third quarter of the game. And the call will be against Kelly Oubre. That's his first foul. Martin, he's checked in for the Sixers. Now into the lineup for your 76er. Number one. 143 left in the third. And again, it's the Bucks missing. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Gordon's got space. Off target with the open look got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got his first two points of the night. Nice job finding the open teammate that time. What a pass right there from Embiid. And a timeout called here by Doc Rivers. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Wright's checked in for the Bucks. Well, Clark, this Bucks roster is loaded with veteran talent, but their window for another run won't last long. No, those windows don't last forever, especially with so many young teams around the league on the ascent. The Bucks may want to take a page from them and give some of their younger players a chance to grow and contribute. Lillard outside. The three ball. Look at Lillard making it look easy. Tell you what, doesn't matter whether he's on the move or standing still, Leonard is a flat-out laser shooter. Outside Maxi. Lopez with the steal. Middleton with it. Guarded now by Maxi. Out of bounds. It'll be Sixers ball. Some changes for Philadelphia. Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. And it's Lowry in for Paul George. And it's Lowry with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Gordon. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Gordon's got 16 points. Gordon so good at sizing up the defense quickly and then burning them off the catch and shoot. Here's Middleton. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Maxie's got four rebounds now. Kumpo with the block. What a swat by Giannis. Love the force he throws those shots away with. Middleton outside for the tie. No good on the buzzer beater. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Sixers ahead. They're up by three. And... And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. We've got George. Maxi out there with Eric Gordon. Then there's Kelly Oubre. And it's Embiid in it to five. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. 
The Bucks trail by five. On an Akumpo for three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Oubre. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. You know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. Philadelphia leading by five. Lopez with the steal. Trent on the wing. The rebound by Maxi. And here are the 76ers. Stolen by Middleton. Two minutes in the game. Two minutes. Lillard right side. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Boy, it is so difficult not to foul Lillard. I mean, you never know exactly how to shade him defensively because he's so versatile. And both free throws good for Lillard. This is what makes him special, his ability to come through in these spots. To the middle. Embiid with it. George outside. Oubre on the wing. Middleton covering. Lillard against Maxi, And it's Lillard that time on the assist from Trent. Gotta like that attacking mindset of Lillard. I mean, very confident in his ability to score and finish inside. Philadelphia with another miss. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the 76ers. Just a great job running the floor in transition. Now he realized they were tiring out the defense early, and they took full advantage. And I've also noticed how opportunistic they've been off turnover. Doing a really good job taking advantage of the opponent's mistakes. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. For Philadelphia, they've gone 2 of 3 to open the fourth quarter. With the floater, Gordon can't hit. And the Bucks shooting right at 35%. Not getting what they want out there. It's Lillard with the drive. George feels it out a bit. Shoot from the baseline. Count it! Well, Paul George has been sensational. And Doc Rivers calls timeout. Critical moment here. He's not taken any chances. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. Confidence is what he's asking for right now. He said, quote, when it's close, we have to keep believing in ourselves. And if we don't think we can pull it out, we've already lost. So some strong words from Coach in the huddle. Back to you, Brian. And Ali, thank you for that. Oubre. Rebounded by the Bucks. And the game isn't over yet, but they have to move quickly. That's the way to go. Here's Anadokounmpo. Oh, wow! A huge basket to tie the game. And talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Middleton, the kind of player that simply relishes the pressure. He's comfortable taking the big shots. And so it's Nick Nurse calling timeout here. Great time to call his guys into the huddle at a very tense moment in this game. And looking at the options here, what do you think is being discussed? A chance to tie it up here. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Oh, wow! A huge basket to tie the game! Tyrese Maxey with a big-time play down the stretch. And Doc Rivers calls timeout. There is a lot on the line. And he is determined to make sure everyone's on the same page. Here's Lillard. Kicks it out to Middleton. It's good! Another shot right in the lane. 
That's been their M.O. this evening. And so it's Nick Nurse calling timeout here. And Coach didn't want to take any chances in this situation, which is why he called the T.O. All right, thoughts on what Coach is going to do here. They could actually go for a three and win here, but I think they may play it safe and try to send this game to overtime. Lopez with the steal. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. So it's a narrow victory for the Bucks, Pulling it out for the W. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. <laughs> just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Dame, you routinely make shots that most players would not even attempt. What enables you to have that kind of confidence? Sometimes in the summer, I work on the craziest things. You know, you never know what type of situation you're going to be in. Um, you got to be prepared for it, you know. So I've worked on my fair share of crazy shots, uh, crazy passes, and, you know, you don't make a high percentage of them, uh, but I made one tonight. Practice makes perfect. Thanks so much, Dame. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. And we present the player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.